For years, the mysterious nature of black holes has intrigued scientists and space enthusiasts. Black holes are perhaps the most enigmatic and mysterious objects in the universe. They are regions in space where gravity is so incredibly strong that nothing, not even light, can escape them. This is especially true for small black holes, as they have been observed during the detection of gravitational waves. In a recent groundbreaking discovery, scientists might have found a closest black hole to Earth, within the Hyade star cluster that could reshape our understanding of the cosmos. Join us today as we explore about this new black hole discovery. The Hyades Cluster, which is only 150 light-years from our Sun, is the closest open cluster to our solar system, making this discovery all more remarkable. This would mean that these are the closest black holes to our planet ever found. First, let's understand what a star cluster is. Large groups of stars are held together in star clusters by self-gravitation. There are two main types of star clusters open clusters and globular clusters. While open clusters are loosely packed groups of stars, usually with fewer than a few hundred members and are frequently relatively young, globular clusters are tight groups of tens of thousands to millions of old stars that are gravitationally bonded. The gravitational pull of massive molecular clouds causes open clusters to break apart over time as they move through the galaxy but cluster members will continue to move roughly in the same direction through space even though they are no longer gravitationally bound. At this point, they are known as a stellar association, also known as a moving group. Compared to globular clusters, open clusters are considerably smaller and less densely packed. Open clusters have been seen to contain both young and older stars, and their ages have been known to vary. They are not very stable due to their open and diffuse nature, and after a few million years, their component stars may separate. As a result, open clusters are found in spiral and irregular galaxies, where new stars are created, but not in elliptical galaxies, which do not form stars and would have long since broken up if any open clusters existed. Open clusters can be seen within and between the spiral arms of the Milky Way, because the stars in all stellar clusters formed at roughly the same time and location, astronomers are quite interested in them. Due to the possibility of studying the individual stars, open clusters are usually simpler to view than globular clusters. The study of star clusters provides unique insights into the formation and growth of stars. Four open clusters have been known from earliest times, the Pleiades and Hyades in the constellation Taurus, Presepe, the Beehive in the constellation Cancer and Coma Berenices. Black holes have remained one of the universe's most mysterious and fascinating phenomena ever since their discovery. Researchers from all over the world have been closely studying these cosmic mysteries, notably those of lesser masses that have been seen during the detection of gravitational waves. Gravitational waves, which are ripples in space-time, brought on by catastrophic occurrences like the merger of two black holes were discovered in 2015. The scientific community's interest has been raised by these discoveries that have provided information on low mass black hole mergers. Black holes lurking in star clusters is not a new thing. Clusters often have large, bright stars that will eventually become neutron stars or black holes. So it is probable that earlier stars have already taken that path. It will be challenging to see among a cluster of bright stars, unless a black hole is actively eating nearby material. Therefore, astronomers must rely on extended observations to find the black hole. The scientists matched n-body computer simulations with images made by the Gaia spacecraft of the Taurus constellation's Hyades cluster in order to search for black holes. As an open star cluster, the Hyades is only loosely gravitationally bound. Two stars will collide closely, and one of them will be thrown out of the cluster. A star will move closer to the cluster's center as a result of other close-to encounters, becoming more tightly connected to the cluster. All of this influences how the star cluster's star density varies depending on the distance from the cluster's center. 
All of the stars in the high aids were methodically tracked by the digital duplicates as they evolved. The positions and velocities of stars in open cluster have been radically improved by data from the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite, which was compared to this simulation. According to the most recent calculations, the Hyades star cluster is currently home to two to three stellar black holes. However, it is impossible to totally rule out the possibility that the black holes were expelled within the last quarter of the cluster's life, or less than 150 million years ago. It is clear that the black holes coming from the Hyades cluster either live there or are located nearby. This positioning makes them the closest known black holes to our sun, overshadowing the prior nearest candidate, Gaia BH-1, located a distant 1,560 light years away. When huge stars experience gravitational collapse near the end of their lives, stellar black holes form. The gravity of the core expands as the core contracts, expelling the surrounding layers as it does so. This causes everything to be drawn into a singularity, which is a tiny, infinitely dense point. Most galaxies, including our own Milky Way, include supermassive black holes at their center. These black holes' masses range from millions to billions of solar masses. Their formation process is still a topic of research, but they may have formed through the merger of many tiny black holes and the accretion of gas from their host galaxy between stellar and supermassive black holes in terms of mass are intermediate black holes. Their origins remain a mystery. Theoretical entities known as primordial black holes are thought to have emerged shortly after the Big Bang. They might have been produced by the gravitational collapse of dense areas in the early universe. These groundbreaking findings clarified the extraordinary closeness of black holes to Earth. If confirmed, the high aids born black holes would be situated remarkably close to our solar system. The revolutionary capabilities of the Gaia Space Telescope have just made it possible to study open cluster stars meticulously and identify individual stars with unmatched precision. These results shed significant light on the complex relationships between the evolution of star clusters, black holes, and gravitational wave sources. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating space-related content. As always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.